What's going on guys, Invert here, uh, I've got a tutorial, uh, it was like requested and uh, like about 5 minutes ago so um, I haven't really uploaded that much, well I've uploaded the um, TP thing I did, like the sword dual cam response, time to teleport 13 thing but um, I haven't done Titan in a while so I thought I might as well do it plus I'm helping people out so why not. So um, yeah this tutorial is um, the shine effect uh, that I use, um, I use it quite a lot. Uh, should really slow down really but um it's quite nice to use on a um like a, a kill cam so uh yeah let's get started uh so here's the actual thing like with it all the effects on i've had like rsmv pro this is actual like the the um tp thing i done this is just like the first clip because um it's easy to do that way because i've got the song and it's all synced and everything so uh yeah let's just take a quick look i think like, it's gonna have to round preview really quick so just lay around preview. Um, so yeah, I've added uh, the CC, and why I'm at it. If you guys um wanna have like any of my uh, RSMB settings or like any other stuff, just uh, leave a comment and um I will try and get touch out. But I'm gonna be slow because I've got a. Uh, quite a lot of homework to do and shit and it's all bull crap so yeah so there's the shine effect as you can see it's um, in the sky and it looks pretty cool obviously it looks even better if you sync it with the song and everything so let's just have a quick look I'm one day away from home a week away from traveling I'm living on a road for studio so yeah that's um so that's about it so all I'm going to do now is just simply delete the shine effect out of this clip, it's here, and then it's gone. So obviously I've got all my other stuff in it, but all you want to do is actually get the shine effect, just chuck it on the clip, and then it should be like holy fuck. So now all you want to do now is go to transfer mode and I have it on add and then it should become a little bit more clearer and um, all I normally do now is I highlight everything or like turn everything on and I move you can like move the shine effect around so I normally move it to the sky or you can simply use this thing up here it's like a source point where you can just click that and you'll click wherever you want it so now what I do after that where I've got that where it wants to be so then I go to colorize and I have shadows as black so then it just leaves the orange and obviously you can mess about of it have whatever color you want and like you know do whatever so now I've got the shine effect maybe sometimes I'd like one to boost light make it a bit more thingy you can mess around with a ray length and all that so now I've got the shine on the clips now I want to like actually animate the shine so all, all I normally do is go a bit in the clip about halfway through the clip and then where I've put the thing like the source point I just move it over right over the other side and then all I do then is go to shine opacity and then bring that right down to around 2 and then it is literally that is it so let me just quickly round preview that and obviously it should it might not look as good as it did before, but you know you've got to mess about the last like my settings. Yeah, so um, obviously what I've done there, I would actually let the thing, let the shine maybe go. I'll leave it for a little bit longer. You know, just just keep moving it around, thinking about to it, it looks right. You can obviously change the color and all that with like mid tones. Like, I don't know, I have a nice like purpley color or whatever, but. You can like really mess about with it, and um, obviously you can use shine in a lot more effects. Like if you have like a scope effect, you can add like add shine with that. It's not just for this, obviously. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this um, helped you guys out or shit. So uh, yeah, see you later, guys.